The Ottoman Empire has ruled over three continents for more than 600 years. The one who has an interest in its glorious history loves and admires their favorite sultans. But who was the most loved sultan of the people who lived in those times? If we think about the favorite sultan of the Ottoman people, the first thing that comes to our minds is the names like, Mehmed the Conqueror, or Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. However, Fati Sultan Mehmed, whom we are praised for honoring the fulfillment of the hadith of our Prophet, peace be upon him, who conquered Constantinople at a young age, and remains in our hearts as the conqueror. But unfortunately, he was not liked by the people of that time, because he started the law of fratricide among the princes, and his other strict attitudes. And, Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent, who made great conquests in history and established a huge empire under the stamp of the Ottomans, was disliked by his people, especially after the execution of his son Prince Mustafa. Same like, Mahmud II was also disliked by his people. The reason why Mahmud II was not liked by his people was that, he brought Europe's most famous physicians to Istanbul during the epidemic period. However, the Sultan was declared kafir, means non-believer, by the people. They said that they don't want their treatment by non-Muslims. And some other names like this. Today in this video, you'll get to know who was the most loved Sultan of Ottoman history, in his time. But before going further, it's our humble request to the viewers to subscribe to the channel, and do like and share the video. A few clicks of yours will not cost you anything, but it'll motivate us, and help our channel to grow. We really appreciate and regard your support. And please, give your feedback in the comments section below. Indisputably, according to many, the most respected Sultan is Ahmed II. We may not have heard much about him. Even many people who are interested in Ottoman history may not even know who Sultan Ahmed II was. How can a Sultan who has written so little in the pages of history, become the most loved Sultan by the people? Let's move further to know better about Ahmed II, and why the public loved him. Ahmed II was the 21st Sultan of the Ottoman Empire. He ruled between the 22nd of June 1691, to the 6th of February 1695, and became the most loved Sultan by his people during his reign. He was the third son of Sultan Ibrahim with his second Heiski, Muazzez Sultan. He was born on the 25th of February 1643. In 1648, he was just five years old when his father died, and his brother Mehmed IV ascended the throne, and in 1687 the other brother Suleiman II became the Sultan of the Empire. Ahmed remained imprisoned in Kafirs for almost 43 years, during the reigns of his older half-brothers. He received a good education during his stay in Kafirs. He had an interest in science and research. He had a good command of the Arabic and Persian languages. He also had knowledge of poetry and music, and liked to read famous Turkish and Persian poets. He was a good calligrapher. Besides the Quran, other books were also written and reproduced by him. His diary which he used to write when he was a prince has survived to date, and is a good example of what a sense of responsibility and vision he had for the future. In 1691, he was enthroned at the age of 48 after the death of his elder brother Sultan Suleiman II. His eldest brother Sultan Mehmed IV was still alive. Although he was deposed in 1687, but still, few people were there who wanted him to be back on the throne. And that was the reason, that the state officials and dignitaries acted quickly to put Ahmed II on the throne. Ahmed II was very compassionate and patriotic. He never let the state's affairs affect even when he was sick. When Ahmed II was informed, 
that he would be the next Sultan of the Empire and ascend the throne, he praised Allah Almighty by reciting the verse of the Quran, and said, I was not an aspirant to the Sultanate. I didn't demand it and did not expect it either. Allah Almighty granted this weak servant of His grace from His grace. I don't know how to be grateful for this blessing. His Grand Vizier Fazil Mustafa Pasha described Sultan Ahmed II as a good-natured and pious person. He showed a deep responsibility for serving Islam. He did not like to show off. According to historical sources, he liked to dress simply. Although, some other sultans have also exhibited similar behaviors throughout the Ottoman history. From time to time, Ahmed II would also dress as a commoner, and wander among the people. He would have patiently listened to people's problems, and gives orders to the concerned authorities to find the solution, and followed up on their issues to check if things were going well. He protected the craftsmen, valued them, and worked for their betterment. This explains how he considered himself a morally responsible head of state, and showed his sense of service to his nation. After thinking for a long, and consulting with the concerned persons, Sultan Ahmed II made his decision about an issue which people were complaining about the most. Of course, the most important event that won the love of the people of Ahmed II was possible only when he succeeded in ending the unfair tax events from all over the empire. He reformed the tax system, and introduced the fair lifelong tax farm system. And thus the people were free from unfair taxes for the first time in history and could breathe happily. The most serious event of the reign of Ahmed II was the loss of the Sakis castle. This news arrived like a bombshell in Istanbul, and made the Sultan very sad. He could never accept the loss of an island so close to the capital, which fell into the hands of the enemy. He exiled those who were responsible for the surrender in chaos. The Sultan wrote a letter to the Grand Vizier. He said that, The situation of chaos tore my heart out. It is my intention to get it back. Talk to those whom you need to, and let them know what needs to be done. If chaos is not obtained this winter, know that I will slay all the chiefs. In the early days of 1695, the Ottoman navy departed from Istanbul with 48 ships under the command of Metsu Morta Hussein Pasha. In February 1695, they encountered an enemy fleet of 65 ships. But Metsu Morta Hussein Pasha and his men fought bravely, and after a bloody naval battle, the enemy left Chios. After his victory, the Turkish navy soldiers landed in Chios and easily captured the island. Before Sultan Ahmed could receive the victory news of the conquest of Chios, he died on 6 February 1695, in a DNA at the age of 51. Sultan Ahmed suffered from hydropsy like his elder brother. Hydropsy is a disease that causes a buildup of fluid in the body's tissue. And the other strange coincidence was that, the reign of Ahmed II also lasted for three years and seven months, as the reign of his elder brother and predecessor, Sultan Suleiman II was. The dead body of Ahmed II was brought to Istanbul, and buried next to his elder brother in the tomb of his great-grandfather, Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. Though the reign of Sultan Ahmed II was short, he remained living in the heart of his people, because of his kindness, and works for the betterment of his people.